Are you considering moving to Mary Esther, Florida, but you're not sure which neighborhood meets your needs and your family's needs? Well, I'm gonna take you through eight of the best neighborhoods in Mary Esther, and hopefully at least one of those will catch your eye and you'll consider being one of the neighborhood's newest residents. So stay tuned. <music> I'm Stephanie Durham with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty right here in the Destin for Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, just know that we do many, many videos giving you all the information that you need to know about the Destin for Walton Beach area. And if you have any questions or want to know more, please feel free to reach out to us by phone call, text, or email, and we'll make sure we get that information out to you as soon as possible. All right, so let me get right into it. Let me start with the first neighborhood, which actually I'm gonna combine two into one. There's Sparkling Waters and Parish Point. Uh, so you wanna get on Parish Boulevard right off Highway 98, just west of Herbal Field Air Force Base. Uh, now these homes were built uh, from the early 2000s up to the present. They have amazing waterfront homes. You have a beautiful view of the Santa Rosa Sound. Uh, now there are some vacant lots available for you to purchase. Uh, that way you can build your own dream home right on the water. Second, we have Marsh Harbor. Now, Marsh Harbor is a neighborhood that has a lot of ranch and contemporary style brick homes built in the early 2000s, between 2003 and 2004. It has deeded access to Community Beach, a private boardwalk, and a pier over the Santa Rosa Sound. Now it sounds like if I lived in that neighborhood, I don't think I'd ever leave unless I just needed to go get something to eat. Third, we have Magnolia Shores. Magnolia Shores is north of Highway 98, so it's a little further away from the water, and is west of Herbert Field Air Force Base. This is a quiet little cul-de-sac with beautiful brick homes that were built in the late 90s. Fourth, we have Sandy Ridge Estates. This consists of a lot of contemporary homes that were built between 93 and 94, and it has a lot of one or two story homes for you to choose from. Fifth on the list, we have Timberlake Estates. This also sits on the north side of Highway 98 has a lot of brick homes that were built in the 80s and the early 90s, have a variety of style homes such as traditional homes, contemporary, and ranch style homes. Six on the list, we have Casaloma East. Now as you're driving up Lakeview Drive and Casaloma Drive, you'll see a lot of older homes that were built in the 70s, but many of them have been upgraded and completely remodeled, still making this a very charming neighborhood. Seventh, we have Mary Esther Heights. Now, this neighborhood is located on the east side of Herbert Field, so you're a little bit closer to the mall. Um, there's also other retail stores and restaurants, and there's also a public library nearby. Now, Mary Esther Heights has older homes that were built between the 60s and the 70s, and they're mostly a single-story ranch-style homes. Number eight, Victoria Park. Now, Victoria Park has a lot of homes that were built in the late 90s to the early 2000s. It's still close to the beaches, close to the military base, and there are a variety of style homes to choose from. So good luck with that because they're all beautiful in this neighborhood. Well, I hope one of these neighborhoods got your attention and you'll be looking to move into one of them soon. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, make sure you leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell just so you're notified each time we do a new video. Again, I'm Stephanie Durham with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.